G'day, this is Guardian Oz. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Uh, in the previous episode, I made an elevator. The reason to make the elevator was once I made it, I was then able to build the rest of the grey uh, surround as we see here. And I'm glad I made the elevator first because I fell off so many times making the build. Just, you know, stepping off backwards or just not paying attention and just trying to overreach to do stuff. Um, so the, the view from the top, now that we've got some uh, the front beam in, is this is what I can see. So we can actually see my chemical plant from up here. So that's the nearby chemical plant. Just there in the trees, in that little spot, is our oil. That's the packing station. That's the trader. And this is what we've got so far. So uh, this is my uh, vehicle I built to just get around uh, when I started. And I have now put in a, um, I don't know what this is called, um, like a, the beam crane. Um, so you can see now why this beam is actually lower than the front is that when this is uh, in position for um, when it's up the front, uh, it's in a better spot. So I've only got, it doesn't work, it's not fully functional, I don't, I'm not able to pick up stuff with the hook. Um, but I wanted to build it so I had sort of an inspiration to build the rest of the um, headquarters around and have a bit of a, a work with it. Um, but it's also important that I did actually get it to kind of work. Um, so I'm using uh, controllers here and bearings to rotate to make uh, scissors on the side there to push it out. Um, I've actually got it on uh, one degree increments uh, looping um, so it will stop wherever we get to. Um, so you can see that it actually will creep out uh, and it will creep back as well. Um, so that's what that's about. It's just a quick tour for everybody just to sort of say, hey, look, this is what I got to. Building a, a crazy crane contraption thing. I did try uh, wheels on the side, cog wheels on the side, <clears throat> cog wheels that pointed up and down, cog wheels that pointed, um, you know, 90 degrees to the, the plane all that kind of stuff, using electric motors, using controllers. I couldn't actually get it to uh, behave well and stop well and jump around. Now, some of the technical difficulties is this block part here, you see the yellow block with the pipes in it, is actually part of, um, I think it's the spaceship actually. Uh, and as such, the part is encrypted. So you actually have to use the decrypt command before you can do anything with it. So before you can even attach blocks to it, you need to make sure you use a decrypt. Um, so there is a bit of ch uh, technical challenge in commands to even use some of the blocks. Um, th these blocks are simple. They're not, um, they don't have anything particular uh, to them. So now that I've got my uh, crane worked out, I've got my driver's seat on it, so I know where the height is then I know where the top floor is going to go, or the, where the, the actual top functional sort of height for this is going to be. And then from there, I can then work out the um, logistical space for all the uh, containers and storage and all that sort of stuff. And then above that will be my free build area uh, once I get going. So I hope you enjoy the tour. Um, oh, just quick... Um, I've been playing around with um, crushes, and this is what I've got for over here. So we actually, I'm actually using uh, logic gates to drive a little bit of the the, um, the gates. So basically, just a crusher, um, and how it works is I'm just using a logic gate that triggers on the up. And then there's a sensor, works out where the ground is, and that's when it climbs up. Um, and it actually, it's really fun to watch it just jump up and down three, four times on a hay bot and just smash it. I know you can do it with uh, concrete and just something really, really heavy and just absolutely flat them to the floor. Um, but I enjoy the munching of the robots as opposed to the decimating with one whack. Um, so that's where this is on my farm. And... Um, I've got a, a spine collector and a, a, a grinder just on the back there. Um, 
um, sorry for the quick video, uh, the quick um, movements, but there's a long shot of the structure that I've built so far. Um, and it has taken uh, a while to get that in um, looking like that, um, just because some of the rotational um, play, like the design of that piece um, actually has a, a diamond in the middle of it. I'll just show you up close. So which way it, uh, which way you have it rotated in the build makes it look um, different depending on how it how it is. So you've got got it like that, and you can have it sideways. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for the thanks for watching, and catch you guys on the next one.